Right, so we've had our introduction to integration by parts, and now we're going to look at a question of this style, x squared e to the x dx. So uh, this is going to be integration by parts because it is a product of functions within the integrand, x squared e to the times e to the x. Okay, So we look back at our formula, and remember we're going to have to pick a u, we're going to have to pick a db by dx, so we're going to pick u by looking at this late rule. So we don't have any logarithms, so we can't pick u to be any logs, but we do have some algebra, so that's the x squared bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to set out that u is going to have to be the x squared, and the dv by dx will have to be the e to the x. Okay, so we're going to have to find d du by dx, so du by dx is equal to 2x, and v is equal to e to the x, so that's differentiating the x squared to 2x, and integrating the e to the x to e to the x. Okay, so we can immediately put it straight into the formula, so that we have the u times v, so u times v, so that's x squared e to the x, take away the integral of v times du by dx, so v times du by dx, that's 2x e to the x, 2x e to the x dx. Okay, so when we got to this process last time, or this step last time, um, we found ourselves with an integral that was nice and straightforward for us to integrate. However, take a second look at what we have. We have 2x e to the x here, which is a product of functions, which means that we only have one way of dealing with 2x e to the x now, and that is by integration by parts. So we have to do the process all over again in order to integrate this thing independently. So, for the second round, we've got u, this time, will have to be the 2x. Okay, because we don't have any logarithms, that's the first one to come across. So that u is 2x, and the dv by dx this time is e to the x. Okay, so we're dealing with this integral here. Leave that alone for the time being, we're just going to be dealing with this. Okay, so then we have du by dx. I'll keep my uh, colours consistent here. So we have du by dx is differentiating 2x, that's just 2. And integrating dv by dx, we get just e to the x. Okay, so let's see where this is going now. So, we have, first of all, this first term, x squared e to the x. Nothing is going to happen to that now. That can just stay as it is. Then we have the integral take away the integral of 2x e to the x. So I suggest opening up a big bracket here, because we are going to insert all of this into the bracket. So we have the u times v, 2x times e to the x, okay? u times v, take away the integral, okay? I'm following this formula again up here, okay? So we've got v times du by dx, that's 2 e to the x, dx. Okay? I haven't added in a plus c yet. I do that right at the end. Okay? So what I have now, um, and this is why brackets are going to be very useful, because you have all these minus signs flying all over the place. Okay? What we have now is x squared e to the x take away this big bracket here. So, um, let's see what happens here, because I know how to integrate that. That's quite straightforward now. So I have x squared e to the x, take away, I'll leave the bracket in for the time being, 2x e to the x. Now the integral of 2 e to the x is just 2 e to the x. Okay, so I'll put that in there, and I've got this plus c, which I can introduce right at the end there. Okay, you could put it in the bracket as plus c, and when you multiply through you'll have a take away c. Um, when you're thinking about a constant of integration, a takeaway c and a plus c are exactly the same thing, because c can be positive or negative. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. But in general terms, we maintain that it would be a plus c. Okay? Multiply that bracket, and we get left with 
take away 2x e to the x. Now we've got two minuses there, so that's a plus 2e to the x plus c. Okay, and that is my final answer. This is a tricky problem. I mean, it's not easy, especially if it's the first time you've seen such a thing like this. Okay, so this is coming for this is my integration by parts working for the first integral. And this is my integration by parts working for the second integral here. Okay? So it's not easy. Make sure you're using plenty of brackets to space out your working. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of mess. Okay? It's going to be difficult to follow. Make sure you're simplifying your integrals at each stage as well. So, um, for example, I mean, if you'd had a 2e uh, to the x of a 2, then make sure it's 4e to the x rather than 2 times 2e to the x, and just leaving it like that. Okay? So, make sure you're tidying as you go.